Hey guys, so it's Miss Ross coming at you guys today. Once again, I've tried to do this video like three times, but every time I start talking, the phone rings, so I have to stop it. But anyway, so I'm coming at you guys today with a really quick review of the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. A lot of people here on YouTube have been um, comparing this foundation to MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Okay, so let me just give you my review. First and foremost, I have been using it for about three days now. Um, compared to the MAC Studio Fix Fluid, um, the coverage is not a full coverage. I would say that it's a medium coverage compared to the Studio Fix Fluid. Now, in the Revlon Color Stay, you have to work it really, really fast because once it dries, it dries. Like, it, it, it stays. Um, of course, I use a combination oily skin with the Soft Flex in it, and I'm number 400 Caramel. It looks darker than my NC45, and because the formulas are different, of course, it's going to look different. But um, if you're looking for a full coverage that you would get from your Studio Fix Fluid, unless you, I guess depending on what applicator you use to apply this you possibly would get the coverage that you're looking for um for me i got the coverage that i was looking for with this but a lot of people have been comparing this to the studio fix fluid which the studio fix fluid is much thicker than the revlon color stay so guys don't be alarmed if you wanted to try this and you have to go a shade darker than what your regular studio fix fluid is because there are different form formulations so that means that the color is going to be different. So as you can see, it looks really, really different. But I'm wearing it today and it matches my skin perfectly. As a matter of fact, I wore it yesterday in yesterday's video. So it does match my skin perfectly. Also, guys, really quick, um, if you shop at Sally's, I wanted to go over this with you really quickly. So I went to Sally's and they had um, this little buy this and get this for free. So they had these little one inch burl curlers made by um, Plug In GED, a hot mess. These curlers are so freaking long. They were $10. But if you purchase the curlers, you got the little mini, crimp, the mini flat iron, ceramic irons for free. And that was the main reason why I got them. So like when I don't have my perms, I can go around my edges and touch up. These are really, 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 really cute. They go up to 410 degrees. These right here, if you're going to get these for $10, give these to somebody for Christmas. Um, possibly somebody at work when you do the name changes. But um, they go up to $350, which is not hot enough for me because my hair is really thick and coarse. Um, so, yeah, but you buy these long crapolas and you get this for free. And these were only $10. Also, I went to Ulta and Ulta had, of course, y'all know I love my chi. But I went to Ulta because I heard that they had the 14 karat gold chi limited edition flat irons. And I wanted to get them for my oldest daughter for Christmas. So I didn't find the cheese at Ulta. They were all sold out. As a matter of fact, they only had the red ones. But when I went to JCPenney's, I got the 14 karat gold ones for her. Of course, we know they 14 karat gold. But they were the gold limited edition ones. But while I was in Ulta, because I always get so confused when I go to Ulta, it's like overwhelming. Like too much going on in there. Um... I found these flat irons called the Zoe, and these are by the makers of Chi, I think. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. I've never heard of these before, but these go up to um, 410 degrees, as with the Chi, and they are really, 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 really cute, guys. They they get really, really hot, and the reason they had like different colors and different. Um, different colors and different decorations on them. I decided to get the black polka dot because, as you guys know, I do dye my hair black a lot. So, I didn't want to mess the flat eyes up with, like, the, they had this pretty pink um, color with stars on it. They had, like, a rainbow color, a fuchsia color, a purple color. I just decided to get the black ones. That way, when the dye, you know how your flat eyes get on the side jacked up. But anyway, and these were $30, guys, and they are really, 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 really good. I compared these to my chi. The only difference is that you get the same look, but whereas you would only use a chi once to straighten, 
I don't know if I was just paranoid, but I used this twice. So, it may not be that you need to use it twice. It may be just because I'm so used to using the cheese that I just went, you know how when you're used to eating red lobster and then you go and get um, Long John Silver, you're going to taste the difference. So, anyway, yeah, these are really good guys. So, I'm hungry. That's why I use that. But anyway, yeah, these are really good, guys. So check these out at your local Ulta. Today, I'm just wearing my HZ T002, the picture that I showed you yesterday on my video. I just pinned it up. On my lips, I'm wearing Personal Taste on top of Hot, mm, on top of Hot Def. On my eyes, I'm wearing the Hip Duo and platinum and my lashes guys and i hope you guys like the look if you want to see a tutorial from yesterday's video or today's video do let me know and i'll be more than happy to get that video out for you guys so guys have a good day and i will see you guys later gators